I would say tie break in a second of, to, to backhands that have kind of let me down, to be honest. Uh, set point, I missed the backhand. He did play um, you know, uh, a backhand uh, that was quite long in the in the court and it had a little bit uh, of a bad bounce, but you know, I should not, should not have missed that shot. And then on six hole, um, again, another backhand from middle of the court in the net, you know, just uh, two very poor backhands. And that's it, you know, the, 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 the match uh, shifted to his side, that it turned around. Uh, he he's just raised his level so much, you know, in the third, I, you know, I wasn't, wasn't myself for quite some time. I managed to uh, regroup and regain the, the momentum midway in the third set, in the fourth. And I felt that the momentum shifted to my side. So that was my chance. That was my opportunity. And that, that break point was, I think I played a really good point, kind of set up uh, that, that drive volley. And, <laughs> you know, it was very, very windy today. So um, the wind kind of, um, yeah, took it to an awkward place where I couldn't hit the smash. I had to hit the drive volley, kind of falling back. And I saw him peripherically uh, running to the opposite corner and I wanted to kind of wrong foot him with that drive volley and I missed. Yeah, and then then obviously made a break next game, which was enough to hold the serve all the way till the end. But yeah, so, some regrets, I must say. I, I had my chances and I could have, I think, closed out that second set tie break better. But uh, credit to him for, for fighting and showing some incredible defensive skills and uh, passing shots that got him the break in the fifth. And, you know, he, he was a deserved winner today, no doubt. Novak, David Waldstein, New York Times. Do you feel like this is the beginning of a big rivalry? <laughs> I would hope so. I mean, <laughs> for, for, for my sake, <laughs> you know, he's going to be he's going to be on the tour for quite some time. I mean, I don't know how long <laughs> I'll be around, but uh, yeah, I mean, let, let's see. You know, it's 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 been only three matches that we played against each other. Three three really close matches. Two already this year in uh, later stages of uh, of of Grand Slams. Um, yeah, I, I hope we get to play in the US Open. Why not? You know, uh, I think it's it's good for the sport playing one and two in the world facing each other uh, in in almost a five set uh, five mat, five hours five set thriller. It's couldn't be better for our sport in general. So. Why not? So are you surprised by how quickly Carlos has adapted to clay, to hard court, and to grass, and he's beating you and winning trophies so early? To clay? No, I'm not surprised because he grew up on clay and his game is, you know, obviously suited and developed for clay and probably slower, slower uh, um, hard courts. But yeah, grass, I, I must say that he surprised me, he surprised everyone how quickly he adapted to, to grass this year because he hadn't hasn't had too many wins on grass in the last two years uh, that he played um and and you know obviously him coming from clay and playing the way having the kind of a style that he has you know i think queens helped him a lot he he was close to lose that first match opening match in queens and then he just started to gain gain momentum more and more wins against really good players and Wimbledon courts are slower than Orangi courts or maybe Queen's court. So it's, you know, it's more suitable for, I guess, uh, the baseliners like he is. But uh, I must say, you know, the the slices, the, the you know, kind of chipping returns and the, the net play, it's, it's very impressive. You know, I um, didn't expect him to, to play so well uh, this year on grass, but he's proven that, you know, uh, He's the best player in the world, no doubt. I mean, he's he's playing he's playing some fantastic tennis on different surfaces, and he deserves to be where he is. Howard, what uh, if you had to pick one quality that you think is his greatest strength? What would it be? And is there anyone else you've played in the past or seen play to whom you would compare, Carlos? Well, I think people have been talking in the past. Uh, um, 12 months or so about uh, uh, his game being consisting of certain elements from Roger Ruff and myself. I would agree with that. I think he, he's got ba basically best of all three worlds. Uh, he's, got, uh, he's got this mental, uh, mental resilience and really maturity for someone who is 20, year old, 20 years old. It's, it's quite impressive. He's got this, you know, 
Spanish bull mentality of uh, competitiveness and fighting spirit and incredible defense that uh, we've seen with Rafa over the years. And uh, and I think he's got uh, some some nice uh, sliding backhands that he's got maybe uh, he's got some similarities with with mine my backhands and he's he's just uh, yeah two handed backhands and uh, defense and being able to adapt. I think that has been my personal strength for for many years, and he has it too. So I haven't played a player like him ever, to be honest. You know, uh, Roger and Rafa have their own. Obviously, strengths and weaknesses, but uh, uh, Carlos is is very complete player, uh, amazing, uh, adapting capabilities that I think are a key for longevity and for uh, successful career on all surfaces.